Bonjour, everyone. Keg here from the Magpie channel with a very exclusive video here for you today by our friends from Snack Media, Playmaker FC and Panini, all sponsors of the Football Blogging Awards in which the Magpie channel took home Best New Content Creator, the judge's choice, so thank you very much for that. Them guys have been in touch with us to do this video for you today and they've sent us a very exclusive product. We were selected as one of the only people in the country to be sent this. And what it is, is this right here. Postman was up very early this morning to drop this off. Just got out of bed, fresh. This isn't open yet, so I'm going to be saying it for the first time for all of you guys out there. So let's get into it. Thank you to the guys at Panini. Whoa! That's a lot more than I expected. Oh my god. So what we'll have here, the Panini Tabloid Special Edition Panini Sticker Album. Newspaper style, I, I love that. Feels like a newspaper, that's unreal. So what I get from it is, it, uh, it's like a newspaper. It's got the all the headlines from the months in. So you got August there. It's got all about the transfers. It's got goal of the month, player of the month, manager of the month, all the done deals. Yeah, as you go across, you got September. All the information there, all the big news from that month in the league from last season. And there's Newcastle. There he is, big Modi army. And if you can see, there's a QR code right there. It's on every page. We'll get into that a, bit, a little bit later. In March, stat of the month, Ayose Perez created eight chances and scored two goals in March. He finished the season under real Ayose Perez. And there we are at the end. Man City, unfortunately, champions. Didn't really want to say that, but also didn't really want to say Liverpool either. So, take what you can get. Got the awards at the end of the season there. Golden shoe for Mo Salah. There's QR codes on every one of them as well. We'll have a, be having a look at that later. Golden glove for Allison. Golden boot and um, Bamiyang. Playmaker Hazard. See you later, mate. And um, joint golden boot for Sadio Mane. The league table there, a little bit of information about Sean Langstaff, hopefully not a future Man United player. And at the end, the guys that are coming up, a bit of information about Norwich, Sheffield United and Aston Villa. And on the last page, the class of the 1920 season, I'm guessing they're going to be spaces for the stadiums, apart from the last three. So we're getting to open in some of these stickers now, seeing what we get. Hopefully, I'll be a fair bit about Newcastle. And it's going to take a while to get through this. We'll see what happens. First pack. I love getting the first pack open. Oh, first one. What am I talking about? Fabian Shaw. The guy there with the goal of the season, in our opinion. Oh, second one, Newcastle. The badge there, Southampton. Doing well. Mm, see what that one's about. Must make up a picture there. Got Arsenal and Brighton. First pack, hey, successful that. Two Newcastle ones in the opening pack, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Got a copy already, anyone want swapsies? Love good swapsies. What else we got? Oh, ho, ho. it's a shiny Sean Longstaff, what about that? Hello. Oh. <laughs> you got someone buying that now? <laughs> that's another picture, there's a... Uh... Shaw taking on Sergio Aguero. We all know who the real winner is there, but the one I dropped. Sean Longstaff, the local hero. And also the shiny Sadio Mane, EA Sports Player of the Month. We've got one half of Miguel Almiro on there. Just the legs. That's all you need, really, because he's a short. He's not really going to be getting many headers in. Oh, there's the top half. <laughs> oh, I made a full picture in one deck. Where's he gone? There we are, the little beauty, Miguel Almiron. There's another rundown one, top corner there. Brigi. And the Man City captain there, Vincent Company, won the goals of the season to help win the league, and that's what he won in return. Nice little shiny there. So, you know, these little ones here, they're divided into three different ones. They peel off as little circles. You got there five A, B, and C. Oh, 
down there. Then they go into there. That's 5A and 5B. That's what they are there we've got. We'll get that straight in. Hey, what's that? 5A, that's Pogba, five shots on target in August. Oh, they're hard them, I've never put them down before. They're tiny. There we are, and C down there is the new Premier League football. Alright, so what else we've got in here? We've got number nine, new deal, Kepa Aritha Balaga, the Chelsea manager. Put Sari down, who is of course now looking like he's off to Juventus. Obviously, they don't need him because they got this guy. What was he? 71 million. Wow, that's a lot of money for a goalkeeper that thinks he's the boss. And we've got another Kepa there. He don't need two of him. This is a cool one in the corner there. It's Danny Ings from Southampton's 2 0 win over Crystal Palace in September. See that hole there? Oh, that's a sticker. I've never put anything down like that before. That's going to be tricky, I reckon. We'll give it a go. There he is. That's a sticker there. He's going to get it down right. Oh, it's not bad, it's not perfect. There we are, there's the full image there. Is that in? It's near enough. Oh, there he is, the main man. We've got Rafa Benitez. Please stay, Rafa, I want you to stay. I'm going to get him in right now. Number 48. There he is, manager of the month. That's what I'm talking about. When was this? November. What a cracking year in November. Rondon won 22 aerial duels in 251 minutes played. There we are. Rafa Benitez's third win. He won his first one back in 2013. Yeah, Rafa was obviously crucial to our season. Like... <laughs> Who knows where we'd be without him. It all started in November. We didn't even have a win until November. We didn't pick up three points until November. There was only three games in that month in which we won all three of them. So obviously Rafa had a 100% record, deserved to be manager of the month. And that really was what kicked off our season with the budget we had. Literally, I'd, it's scary to think where Newcastle could have been without him. Almost definitely relegation. We battled it for most of the season because of the disappointing start. But yeah, November totally kicked one. And uh, yeah, we finished quite strongly and uh, got to where we needed to be. I've well, got the Modi Army cover, talking about the the three wins. It was Watford at home with a 1 0 win. Then we went on to beat Bournemouth at home also for Rondon's first two goals of the season. And we got a good away win, first away win of the season away to Burnley. We've got the Rondon. Stick out there actually, we'll uh, stick that one in if you can. There he is, the main man. His goals were crucial to our season as well. He finally got off the mark in November. And while we're on it, while we're on Newcastle, while we've got the QR code there, we'll see what this is about. Where's my phone? So you just get your camera up, any camera, and hold it. I'll pick up on there, and as you can see, there's a link popped up in the corner. So you just tap on that, and it takes you straight to the Panini website. There's a little video there, you press play. I'm not sure if it's Kieran Clark's goal there, or wait to Burnley. One of them on every page for every month, showing you different highlights. Great little feature there by Panini, I love that. We'll keep up with putting the Newcastle ones in. There they are. Got one here. Shaw. Fabian Shaw. Goal of the month. 
and thoroughly deserved so where are we 80 we interviewed a lot of people after the last game of the season on the Magpie channel a lot of the fans and most agreed that Fabian Shaw was our player of the season let alone this goal being the goal of the season the guy cost 3 million quid in this day and age that's insane for a player of his quality the stuff he's brought to the team we've seen him score goals it was against Cardiff he scored his first two goals for the club in that day he went on a mad messy like run this goal was like a Roberto Carlos-esque finish bang his top corner from about 30 yards out unreal we've seen him try things like that there we are I've seen him strike from distance before, but never, never like with an end product like that. That was incredible. Just shows you the kind of guy that he is. And he's also a top class defender. In the modern day and age, a lot of defenders kind of neglect that defensive duty. Whereas Shark can run, pass balls like Paul Scholes, and still defend his duty really, really well. So that's him in there, the firm favourite. Where else we're going? We've got a uh, Matt Ritchie there, number one hundred. Number 100. Yeah, there you are. What month was that? That was April, where we came back and beat. It was a Bournemouth away last game of the season. 2 2. Unbelievable strike by Matt Ritchie. He's another firm favourite. We we'll love the passion that Matt Ritchie brings to the table. He's a crazy guy. I absolutely love him. There we are. That's him in there. And, er. Uh, where else? We've got the local hero, Sean Longstaff. There's been a lot of speculation of him going to Manchester United this summer, which I think would be a great acquisition for them, but we really don't want to let him go. We want a few more years out of Longstaff yet. He's a Geordie boy. What does this say here? Broke into Newcastle's first team, impressed with his midfield tenacity, and became the Magpies' youngest Premier League scorer since May 2016. Yes, yeah, the young lad came up through the academy, local boy. We we'll love seeing that because we don't get too many top class Jodies here. I think the last one we can really remember was Andy Carroll, and he left on a big budget, on a on a big sale, thirty five million pound to Liverpool. We don't want to say that again. We want a few more years out of this guy. He's a top class act. I've seen a lot of Man United fans disagreeing, saying they don't want him. It's early days for him yet, but we need him on time side for a lot longer because we need him. Now we've got the badges. I'll pop them in the back there. There we are. Already started sticking a few in there. Got a few more Newcastles there. There we are. And for one of the signings of our season, another guy that really helped change us and push what on stronger was this guy, Miguel Almiron. Big January signing. I think definitely changed the fortunes for the rest of the season. 20 million. Broke a 10 year long transfer record after Mike alone for 16 million. Took us that long to spend more than 16 million, man. What's going on? Once he came, just totally changed the way we played. Like his pace is frightening. When we get a full season out of him, once pre season comes and the season starts, Teams in the Premier League better watch out because he's he's dangerous. We've seen a lot of people criticising him because he still didn't score a goal or get an assist. But it's the work he does. He, and he's created more chances than anyone else in the Premier League from when he first came. He just totally gives with that extra option. Like I say, he's got the pace, the skill, and he just makes everyone around him better. Jose Perez's goal record started to improve once we had him in. Rondon was playing better. He just totally lifts the club. The day he signed was the day we played Manchester City. And we were the only team in the Premier League to beat Man City in 2019. And I think that was all down to his influence. We just went on a mad run, beat Man City. Like the whole club, you could feel it in the stadium. I think even the players knew something special was about to happen here. Because there was going to be protests and all sorts that day. Then as soon as word came out about this guy coming... It just lifted everyone's spirits and I, th I think that was what helped beat Man City as crazy as it sounds I think we were a 12th man and the players felt it and we just went out and beat, and beat the champions it was an incredible day that one of the best games of the season one of the most enjoyable anyway the atmosphere like all because of this man he hadn't even played a game yet he literally just signed about two hours before kickoff but it just boosted the whole place and his influence was felt throughout the season like the way he plays it's just second to none. We've needed a guy like this for years. 
finally broke the bank. Even 20 million, it's not even that much money in this market. But it's what we needed, and we pushed on, and he did really, really well. And also, we got, we've got, got my good friend Declan Rice there. I'll pop him in. He, he scored his first goal against Arsenal in this month in January. So we'll give our friend Declan Rice a little pop in there. And that about wraps it up. All done there. So once again, thank you very much to Panini and the guys at Playmaker. This has been fun. I've enjoyed doing this, and uh, hopefully we'll get to do it again. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you soon. Enjoy yourself.